Hello everyone, this is Michael from Stardock, and today I'm sitting down with Blues from our off-world trading company community, who is here to talk to us about the upcoming DLC Blue Chip Adventures. So, hello Blues, and thanks for joining us here today. Hello Zol um, Michael. You can call me Zoltar or Michael, whatever's most comfortable for you, it's fine, I understand. In any case, I wanted to go ahead and give you an opportunity to very quickly, obviously most of our community members know who you are, but for anybody who doesn't, would you like to introduce yourself, tell us about how long you've been playing Offworld, what your favorite factions are, just different things you've done throughout the community thus far, because you are a pretty prominent member of our community. Yeah, so um, basically I've been playing Offworld for maybe a year and a half now, learned about it pretty early in the early access process through uh, watching streams. A lot of uh, Zoltar stream, actually, and that. I like so, that guy here. He's good. <laughs> yeah, that really uh, pushed me into the multiplayer side of the community, and I've just been uh, part of that ever since. All right. Um, yeah. Favorite faction? Favorite faction Do you have one? is a difficult question. I mean, so much of uh, we always talk about how so much of a uh, faction types depend on like just the circumstances of the game. I think maybe just robotic. They're just so flexible, easy to use for any situation. Fair enough, fair enough. I can definitely understand that. Personally, I'll favor the scavenger a bit more myself, just because I like attacking people. But, you know, to each their own. Can't really go wrong with a nice robotic. So, obviously, what you're here to talk to us today about is the upcoming DLC, Blue Chip Ventures. So, I was curious what your perspective is on what Blue Chip Ventures is, and kind of just how it came to be, where this came from in the first place yeah um the blue chip ventures is basically a set of scenarios that's uh designed to really push a few uh, game mechanic concepts that maybe don't come up that easily uh that naturally th through uh, the tutorials or just uh, ai skirmishes but things that are really important for uh higher level play so there's concepts like um debt management where you don't necessarily want to be dealing with uh, your life support very early that sort of idea so i was approached by soren i'm asking if we could sort of come up with ideas that sort of push these concepts and uh make nice scenarios out of them instead of really making an even longer tutorial process. So the tutorial is quite long already and quite extensive. So having more of that instead of something more freeform might be a bit uh, too, too much to deal with. Right. So wanting to kind of, if I understand it correctly, trying to find a way to teach people these more intricate game concepts, these things that you can't necessarily just sit down and tell them, like, all right, adjacency bonuses are amazing, but these things that they might not notice, like about shipping lanes or majority purchases and tools like that. Is that how I'm understanding it? Right. All right. Sounds interesting. It sounds a bit difficult. Now, I know that some of the scenarios within the mod are a little less focused on education and a little more focused on testing, let's say, challenges to... Uh, to just make sure that you understand every little piece of off-world training company that there is to know. So do you want to talk to us a little bit about where those came from? Right, there are basically five scenarios in there that were originally designed for a single-player competition we are having in the community. Um, so those were designed sort of with the intent of, well, doing something along the same lines of the daily challenge, but maybe not presenting circumstances where the player has to approach the games differently than they might normally approach it. So they can't just do this usual cut and paste where, which is usually applicable for a pretty general map type or set of circumstances. So you place a lot of restrictions on the player, just see how they sort of work around them. Right, so basically changing the foundation of Offworld Trading Company and really changing the game from the outset rather than just providing some general challenging scenarios with all the basic game rules still intact. Is that kind of how you look at the challenges? 
Right. And I think each of the challenges has a sort of key idea behind it that you really need to exploit to be very successful. Right. I was looking at some of those and they were quite interesting to me with one of them being, all right, well, your black market cooldown comes up a lot, but you have to buy everybody before they hit HQ level three tools like that with another one focusing on, well, now you've got an AI to protect. See how you can do that against everybody else. It was, it was a really different way to look at the game, if I'm being honest, from what I was seeing. All right. Well, out of those scenarios... What did you have a preference? Do you have a favorite scenario of the 17 that you've managed to create or maybe a favorite set of scenarios? Do you like the challenges? Maybe you're more happy with the learning curve. I'm kind of curious here. I mean, to some extent, I'm not entirely sure about uh, how they all grade out difficulty wise because I've because I've spent so much time around them and because of uh, just where I started from approaching them like i don't really know exactly how a less experienced player might be approaching them which is an interesting was an interesting challenge of the whole process i can imagine um, just having to back up and look at it from that new player perspective was there anything in particular you did to try and approach it from that perspective a little better or was it trying to think back and realize all those different steps you had to learn in order to become the top tier player that you are now i mean i did get some help with uh, testing out these scenarios but um right another part of the difficulty was because i got really got into the game through a lot of learning from watching streams it's not really like I had a organic learning process of going through the tutorials and learning mechanics that way. So I couldn't really even uh, rely on the whole walking back idea so much. There's a lot maybe just uh, playing through the scenarios and trying to hold back a little somehow and right. see how much wiggle room I still had. Interesting. Makes sense. Makes sense to approach it from that perspective. One of the things that I had wanted to ask about as well was what background do you have that you were able to just kind of put this mod together in the first place? What other kind of game development have you done at all if you're able to talk about that sort of thing? I can't really say I have much of any experience doing that. Um, uh, I guess the only really relevant stuff I've done in the past, I had a couple of years of computer science school. But besides that, it's I've never done anything directly related to uh, game dev. So it's just a lot of poking around the source code, figuring things out, trying to see what might work, what might not, and well, hoping things went well. May. Yeah, well, they seem to have gone pretty well from where I'm sitting. I am definitely am enjoying these scenarios myself. But it's interesting to come at it from the perspective of somebody who doesn't really have a whole lot of experience and in some ways I like that because the new perspective can kind of make you ignore some of the rules that other people might be considering in particular when it comes to off-world trading company and make it a little easier to just break that mold and find a new way to present things which I think is what we have here in this DLC and it kind of shows a little bit that this was an outside perspective looking in rather than somebody who is already there trying to explain uh, everything that the game has to offer. So that was just interesting to me. Are there any future plans for you with modding Offworld Trading Company? This is something you've done a little bit on your own, obviously, before this uh, official content came out, but do you have any other further plans for development at all? Um, I've had some vague ideas, nothing that I've actually done any work on. Right. At this point, it feels like maybe a larger project that I maybe want to get involved in right now, so... Kind of see some overhauls here you've been considering? For the game itself, or some really serious modifications, or... It's kind of a new game mode sort of idea, but as long as I'm not really working on it, I'm not sure I want to talk too much about it. That's fair, that's fair. Well, we can all hope, maybe at some point, to be able to see that, especially... Uh, if everybody enjoys blue chip ventures as much as I do. 
for now, I think that's just about going to wrap things up. Do you have anything else you'd like to share with us at this point? Um, not too much in particular. Uh, I hope everyone does enjoy these, uh, the Blue Trip Adventures. Um, hopefully they are good teaching experiences or just fun to play overall. I tried to uh, keep both of those in mind, so... All right, well, they looked like great learning tools to me. I'm sure everybody will enjoy them if they choose to pick up Blue Chip Ventures. On that note, I think I'm going to wish you good luck for the tournament because for anybody who catches this quickly, the upcoming weekend, Blues will be participating in one of the community tournaments. We'll be pulling for him and everybody else to, well, do their best and have a good time as we do with every off-world trading company tournament. So on that note, I think we're going to wrap it up with Blues here today. Hope you guys have enjoyed this look at Blue Chip Ventures. Thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>